if they are aware. Supreme over the side. They have that obs there for the dire. Dream Coil plays down. They've got the silence. There's the blink as well as the God's Rebuke. They'll snap the coil. They've got themselves the balance strike. Ooh, the cookie brings them into the low ground. IOTW going in, but they've got the Ice Path on a Miracle. Yule's up into the air. Nico maybe trying to surround him, get the skill on a Miracle. But there's the Illusory Orb. Borrowed time from Mind Control. He's going to stand his ground and walk up on these heroes on the side of Alliance. A three Nico minute silence coming in from Miracle. They get the kill on a Nico baby. Kuroki. He'll get that one, but the Ice Path lands. They finally take a IOTW. God's Rebuke on a Mind Control. The spear is not going to land on the proper hero. They'll take out Aramis. Miracle still moving around this fight as the Ice Path lands again onto the box. But they've got the Rod of Atos coming out from Kuroki. They'll lock down the Jakiro who goes in for the moment. The Sonic Wave comes in and that's avoided by Miracle again. He gets a kill on the hot skin. Now he's looking for the Queen of Pain. The bleak over. Can he get the damage? Oh no. Just in time with the TP. Man, Miracle. Full carry of Adam build. Insane. Does he get the eggs? Insane. No. Does, he get the, does he get the ags from the next Roche, you think? I hope so, because then he sees how Imba it is and he will build up next time. Time oh, PA again. Oh, PA, again. PA. No fire bashes. BKB bashes. Spear not going to land on the time walk out. They've got the Murmur's Kisses coming over from the side. They don't have Chronosphere available to them, and Kuroki over to the side gets silenced for a second, but they've got the destruction as well as the Sonic Wave coming through out of the Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin and taking a lot of damage. They get the kill to the faceless boy, but ILTW in the ice still alive, surviving. Still alive. alive for the moment goes after this Snapfire. Look at the mind control, Satanic. and they're going to take out this Snapfire. They've got themselves the Phantom Assassin back up to full health. They'll get the kill to Hanskin, and now he's going to look over the side, but there's the silence. Kuroki on the run, the disruption saved from GH. They've got the silence, they have the damage now. They've got the hex, the Chronosphere comes out in a miracle, but they still don't have the kill of the Phantom Assassin. How have they not killed him yet? ILTW on the run, the right coast coming in, he gets the bash coming up on the cycling dagger, and now he's gonna look over his miracle oh still alive. He's got the silence out of the face is void. The silence on it too. The claim nears there. The right coast coming in for the staff fire, and there's gonna be the Yules for a second. There's actually the Stormcrafter. I believe Nico that's a miracle. Again. That keeps him alive. They get the kill on a Nico Baby. Nico Baby bought back, and then they've got the sense of disruption as well as the balance strike coming through. Mars in trouble. Lizzo with the God's rebuke. Miracle up in the air once again with the Yules. He's gonna use that phase shift. They got the claim here as well as the break coming up from GH. There's the Primal spring right onto the Mars, but that was a bad decision, Kuroki. You're gonna lose your life, and Leslow will finally fall to GH. Lose a fight like that, they need to stay a little bit restrained. But I say that right as I say that, what are they gonna do? They're gonna fight under the tier two tower. They're looking to get the bait before he's able to get anything in the nightmare or the fiend's grave. They'll take out Hanskin and Leslow over to the side. Gets the duel out onto the spirit breaker. But he's got the aphotic shield. He'll hit a bash. This duel's gonna be wasted. Leslow now trying to get out, but the body block from Kroki as well as the bash coming through from the charge from mind control. They've got the dream coil down on it too, as well as the snow gaze coming out for Nico Baby. Into the borrowed time. They'll snap the dream coil on both of them. Supreme in trouble. There's a stolen duel. Echo Slam comes in, but is it gonna be enough damage? Kuroki low, but still not dead. The Fisher comes in with an effing blast out onto the spirit breaker. Miracle, Blue trying man to avoid, run, but there's the tornado. Oh, ILTW coming through with the ult to get the kill to mind, Miracle Mind Control. Finally, Supreme goes down to ILTW. They look over at the main. They've got the sleep. And they should be able to get a full team wipe here. ILTW gets involved. ILTW gets himself an ultra oh kill. God. Wow. They can breathe on each other. ILTW stepping up. I mean, he he's, oh. he's not feeling too scared at all now, ILTW. He's got eyes on on Yapso. He's come up for a bit of the warning mission and it's not gonna pay off. Yapso goes down. Miracle is running in. GH has closed him off. The cogs are down. Nisha's able to get to the side, but the X Mark drags him back into the boat. Reincarnation is still on cooldown. Nisha's out for 50. So they can run down Ice 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 as well. They're in with the dagger, the Orchid Silence from ILTW. They bring down the Necrophos once more. Puppy tries to TP out for the X. It's I'm there back. from Mind Control, bringing back Puppy into the clutches of Miracle and ILTW as Puppy will also lose his life. And Rod? And that's got BKB up, Miracle, so should be able to step out if he feels too threatened. And as we're seeing here, takes very little damage right now from the Wraith King. Dagger out onto Nisha, GH has the hook shot at the ready, he's going to be able to catch Ice Ice Ice. If they could get rid of Ice Ice Ice, be quite the kill of course, Ice 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 buying back in the last fight, drag back from the X mark, Ice Ice Ice, he's going to fall. 75 seconds, RLTW ready to redeem himself now, jumping in towards Nisha. I say that though, he jumped into his, maybe death, the Nightmare comes out but it's not going to save him, he's not redeeming anything at all. As it's RLTW dead again on the front lines, maybe... Enigma Galaxy can still make this work though. Grip for the high ground on Kroki, down on Nisha. Nisha will fall. Yapsa also to go down. As they may have lost the quad, but the fight, it's still there's Enigma Galaxy. X Mark set it from mind control onto Puppy. They'll take out a fourth.
Only Samel, well, maybe even not able to get out of here. They're diving in. They've closed the gap. Hookshot's back in play. Samel has got any way out of this. The Colts will push him up to the high ground, but Miracle's in, slams him out. It's going to be a team wipe. ILTW sacrificing himself there for the team, and it pays off massively. Although well, back door's up. And we'll have the full lineup up. Can they take a fight into Miracle? Fuck. The lift up. Up up by the eyes. Falling a little low on the mana. Grip's gonna come out though onto Nisha. Nisha. Oh, we'll get the tether through from Puppy, but they can't save him the first time. Puppy, he'll die. Nisha put the BKB. He'll look to lock down onto GH. Charge over from ISO Sai straight towards the back lines. They kill off GH. ISO Sai's popping the BKB and now on the retreat, but Miracle is trying to chase. He is back over the shadows with the Shadow Blade. Gets himself away from the hits of Miracle, but the Rax, it won't be protected. Enigma Galaxy to take a second set. They're ready to swing over towards the top. Samael, they knew he brought back. In that last fight around the bottom half, he doesn't have buyback out for 95. Ice 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 trying to draw their attention away from the base. But ILTW mind control, GH and Kuro, they'll knock him out of action. He has got buyback, but they're going to have to try and hold 80 seconds without some ale. Yeah, he was trying to kill the wave, but another one's coming in quick succession. And yeah, I don't even think they need Megas. Just go for tier fours. Samil's out of commission for 70 seconds. And there's a rapier. rapier. He's ready to finish this one up fast, Miracle. A secret, what have they got? They've got a buyback on ice. They're going to give it one final shot to try and push Miracle off the base. The tier fours have been taken. Nightmare to put an interruption to the setup attempted from Ice Ice Ice. I'll get the knockback. Miracle's out of mana. I'll get the disarming as well. GH rolls over towards Nisha. Nisha, it's gone once. Miracle, he might not have mana, but with the rapier, he's more than happy to continue this fight. BKB is going to do nothing yeah. for Nisha's GG is called. If for now, LTW, but the bomb tower has been taken. Zai getting the space to finish that off. GH did manage to get the deny. He's into the trees, though. No TP available to get him out of there. There's a on cooldown as he came in to grab the deny. It looks like they'll actually hold off from looking for him. So he's going to live for now. Successful with the deny. Kuro might not be as such as Zai. Finds him with Boxy. GH, can he help out Kuro in any means? They're actually going to turn their attention for GH instead. Steals the siphon, buys him himself a little bit of time in the trees here as he jukes this one out. And GH, he's putting the work in to stay alive. And in fact, all right, GH, he baits them in, buys time for RT Tommy to come in and kill Matumba, man. GH is still alive in the trees. The rest of Nigma Galaxy turning up. Boxy has to bail. Zai's not going to get the chance. Bail McHale, he's got two more remnants to play of Nigma Galaxy. See, they are still chasing. Zai with a vacuum up to the high ground, but RTW jumps straight back down with the Omni Slash onto Zai. Mind Control finds the chance to rupture Mickey. Mickey, I don't, has he got anywhere playing out this? He tries to dodge the blood right with the slide, but he's not going to be able to do so. Silence into the finger of Kuro. He goes down. Instead, he'd have fallen even behind the tower. Kuroki, he's going to start playing around with Boxy. Set up here into the hex. Blood right's coming down. Spike Carapace will hold back the two of them. Kuroki actually taking a bit of a beat again from the illusion from Zai's wall. He's into the trees, and he's away, out of the reach of Boxy, able to turn back in with a stun. Kuro's not even going to go down, blinks out to a safe distance. Boxy was trying to find him. He's not going to get to live any longer. GH shuts down his life. Liquid back at full HP, full mana. Jump four for RTW, they try with the vacuum. The quick switch slash comes into play, they caught him with the chains. The blood right there, GH hit with a hook shot. Mickey tries to commit, but the stun's out onto the three of them. And now they're ready for the cleanup. Nigma Galaxy, finger out, Matsu out of mana. He'll try for Kuroki, but he's surrounded by Nigma Galaxy. He's out of the game. And with no buyback on him, it's almost certainly going to be called. Mickey also taken out the full set of racks. Steve, yes, the disciple wants to go for it. He doesn't. I'm going to focus back on the racks, allow Liquid to, to step away. Trying to see if there's an item coming for Liquid, which might, you know, turn it around and potentially a Satanic and Gyrocopter, but that's oh, a ways away. GH just coming around behind the tier two, try, trying to start some action here with a bit of a poke. Jump four from RTW, in onto Matumba Man. Matumba Man will be able to get the BKB off, but RTW is running him down into the trees. RTW is he, able to keep on top of Matu. That BKB is not going to save him. Matu goes down and Sadia holds them back with the overgrowth, but he can't control the bear. Enrage out, RTW charges up to the high ground, four dead on Liquid as the last one left standing. It's soon to fall as well. Boxy tries to charge away, but the control's there from Mind Control. Five dead on Liquid. We just saw an aggressive tip from Nygma. Oh.